That's it, girls. Keep pulling. One Sunday, when Charlie was going to fly his hot air balloon, Millie and Molly offered to help him set up. Now, you two come back here, please, and I can start to inflate her. <laughs> That's the way, girls. Thanks for helping. <laughs> Millie, you hold up this, and Molly, you hold the other side open. Then I can get some air into the balloon. Charlie, where did you get your nice strappy pants? We like straps, especially if they have yellow in them. Made him from the old balloon! Did your old balloon wear out? No! Crashed it into a tree! Ripped it to bits! Nearly did myself a mischief! Oh, you girls thought about coming up with me? No, could we? Ask your parents! We could go up over the mountain! Be a big adventure! Over the mountain? I've never been! No, thank you very much! But it'll be fun! Now look the other way! The flame's hot! Firing! Right, here we go! Cast off! Bye, Charlie! Have a good trip! Don't forget my offer now! Next Sunday, if you like! Wow! Think what you could see from up there! And... and what's over the mountain? Could be really, really exciting! Yeah, could be. Let's play on the swings. Okay. Millie started to think about the balloon and what exciting things there might be on the other side of the mountain. The balloon landed in the wild jungle on the other side of the mountain. And we saw lots of strange animals with big teeth that people had never seen before. And flowers with every colour in the rainbow. The end. Thank you, Millie. A very exciting story indeed. Now, we're going to have a different sort of adventure. Dinosaurs from outer space! <laughs> oh, <laughs> much more exciting than that. We're going to have an adventure with... Spelling! Oh. Oh, now but don't... Millie wasn't thinking about spelling. She couldn't think about anything except what adventures she'd have on the other side of the mountain. Millie, time to feed marmalade. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. The same as you do every night. I bet the people who live on the other side of the mountain don't have to feed their pets. Yes, but sadly you live on this side of the mountain, in a nice, warm, safe house with your mum and dad who love you and look after you. It's not very exciting. Lots of people would be very thankful for what you have. I suppose. Oh, did I tell you? Charlie said we can go up in the balloon, if you said it was all right. Please? Well, as long as Molly is allowed to go too. Yay! Hey, where are you going? I'm ringing Molly now. You can't ring her now, it's too late. Besides, you still haven't fed poor Marmalade. And you promised to tidy your room before you went to bed. Okay. Can't I do it tomorrow? People who live on this side of the mountain have to do it tonight. Mm-hmm. Here you are, Marmalade. Ah, oh, this is empty. So what do you think, Molly? I don't really want to go up in the balloon. But we'll see all sorts of things. Up over the mountain. Who knows what's over there? Can't we just play in the park? Maybe we could even get pants like Charlie. Don't you remember how he got them? He crashed his balloon. But it'll be an adventure. We could send Dolly and Jemima. Molly, I want to stay here. But that's boring. You didn't think it was boring before you saw Charlie fly the mountain. Please, Molly, I know you're scared. I'm not scared. But Mum and Dad won't let me go unless you come with me. You could find someone else. No, I want you. Why? Because you're my very best friend. The next Sunday, Molly tried to be as brave as she could be, Lady girls. so her very best friend Millie could have the adventure she so wanted. Mm. Are we definitely going over the mountain? Looks like the wind's blowing the right way. Oh, Molly, isn't it exciting? Yeah. Could Tomcat come too? 
to keep Molly company. The more, the merrier. But then Marmalade would be lonely. Oh, then all right. They both can come. Yay! <laughs> Soon the balloon was ready with everyone on board. Cast off! Firing! Hold on, you two. Good luck. You'll be all right, Molly. Just do what Charlie tells you to. Oh, Molly. Good luck. See if you can see our house. Have fun. Bye, Molly. Bye. Do what you're told now. Look, Molly. I can see the school. And the night. Oh, and I can see my house. Up here. All the ordinary things suddenly don't look so ordinary from up here. Look at all the red roofs. And look at the river. It's so curly and blue and pretty. All the trees are in such straight rows. Everything looks like toys. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Molly. It doesn't seem so scary once you get up here. Nothing to be scared about. I've been flying these things for 30 years. I'm still here. Mountain's coming up. How long can we see what's on the other side? Not long, but I have to give the burners a big blast to make sure we get over all right. I look for another wind going the direction we want. Sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. There, the other side of the mountain. Oh, is this it? Beautiful, ain't it? Um, I suppose, but... Well, the trees are pretty, and the rocks. Yeah, but I was expecting something more interesting. Even our town is more interesting and pretty than this. Charlie, Charlie, why are we going up so quickly? Just hang on now. What's happening? The wind's got us. Hang on very tightly now, and don't let go. Can we please go home now, Charlie? Please, Charlie, find another wind to take us back. We'll have to go higher. Yes, it's the only way to find a wind that takes us the other way back home. Hold on tight! When we come down through the clouds and see the town below. Any minute now. Hey! There! Look! There's our side of the mountain! Hooray! Our troubles ain't over yet! What? I've only got a little bit of fuel for the burners. It's going to be a fast trip down. Not just yet. Have to leave it till the last moment. My tummy's turning inside out. I wish I was at my nice house with Mummy and Daddy. No, Tom Cat, be brave. Charlie knows what he's doing. He's been flying the loop for 30 years. All right, I'm going to use the last of the fuel to slow us down. It'll still be a bumpy landing. Is everyone all right? I... I think so. I'm all right, and so is Tomcat. Marmalade? Where's Marmalade? Maybe she jumped out when I wasn't looking. Marmalade! 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 Marmalade? Oh, poor 
marmalade. You must have been so frightened. But Charlie's been buying these things for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, nearly had me another pair of pants today. So, gonna come up with me again next week? Um, no thanks, Charlie. It was a big adventure, but we like our side of the mountain best. Don't we, Molly? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, time to feed marmalade. I already have. Without being asked? Well, something is definitely wrong. Someone's been into Millie's room and tidied up everything. Dad, I did it. <gasps> <laughs> What's all this about? Nothing. But it wasn't nothing. It was very definitely something. Millie was very thankful for what she had. And very happy to play with Jemima and Dolly and her best friend Molly while other people went to find out what was on the other side of the mountain.